Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to find all 18 collectibles here in Mountain Ascent and Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're going to start right here at the Mountain Ascent Meditation Point, as you guys can see on the map. And if you look to your left, our first collectible is going to be right next to the Meditation Point. We can come right down this little bridge here and pick up our first collectible right here. Once you pick that one up, we can continue along this path here. And if we jump across where the waterfall is, we can come right over here on this back ledge and we're going to have a treasure right here beside Side the rock. Once you pick up the treasure, if you just look to your right, we're going to have a seed pod over here we can grab. So take out that bush. Once you grab that seed pod, we can head back up to the meditation site. So we'll just jump right across from rock to rock. And we're going to go up here through this green wall. So we'll obviously need the dash to get through here if you don't already have it. But as soon as you dash through this wall, you're going to have this little machine right here. Go ahead and use this machine and you will get your next collectible. Now, if you look up, we're going to have another collectible in the bush above us. We're not really able to grab that one yet, so we'll come back to it later. But we're going to dash through this wall and right over here by this waterfall, we can jump down. You'll want to watch out for these little bird guys. If we go across over here next to the mountain, we're going to have a chest that's right up here against the wall. And right after you open that chest, if you turn to your right, right over here in the corner, we're going to have a seed pod. So we can go ahead and take out the bush and grab that. Now after you pick these up, we're going to head back to the other side of the river right here. And we're going to go right over here to the right. We'll have some vines that we can use to climb back up. So just grab onto the vines. And when you get to the top, we're going to go to the right. And right over here, we're going to have a little patch of water that we're going to jump in. We're actually going to have a chest that's under this water. So go ahead and jump in. We can dive straight down. And right here at the bottom, you're going to have a chest, which will be your next collectible. Now, after you grab this chest, we're going to work our way back up to the surface. And we're going to want to grapple onto this wall over here. So we can grapple onto the wall and wall run across. And once we get here, the first thing we're going to do is go left. And right over here, we're going to have a door, but you want to be careful not to fall off this ledge here. So go ahead and use force lift. You'll have some enemies that are inside that you'll need to take out. And once doing so, we're going to have two collectibles in here. Your first one's going to be this chest right here that you can use BD1 to open up. And then right beside the chest is going to be a scan. So we can use BD1 to scan and we'll get those two collectibles. We're then going to turn around and head back outside. Use force lift to raise the door and jump across to the vines. And right down over here, we're going to have two more collectibles. So again, you may have some enemies down here you need to take out. If you have a chest over here, you can use Force Lift and Force Slam on. And then your next collectible is going to be this blue glow right here that you can pick up. Now, once we're done here, we can head back. We're going to go back over to the wall run. So just jump back up and head back toward the water. And we're going to wall run and jump up on the ledge to the left. So we'll grab onto the wall and jump across, and dive to this one. And as soon as you get up here, turn around and jump across to this side. We'll go in here and take a right and right back here in the corner, we're going to have some treasure. Once you grab this treasure, we can then turn around and go back to the other side. You want to be careful for this bird right here. So make sure you take him out so you can get your next collectible. And once he's taken out, we'll go right over here to this little blue building. And once you get close enough, it'll give you the ability to scan and that'll be your next one. Now, after you scan this, we'll turn to the left and jump across. You're going to have some birds here that you need to take care of. But once you do that, you can come right over here and on this left beam where the green wall is. We can walk across and we can get that seed pod that I was telling you guys about earlier. And once you grab this seed pod, we're going to turn around and go right back up on the hill. And we're going to take a right and we're going to jump across. Now you're going to have some troopers out here you'll need to take out. And once doing that, we can come right back over here. We can run on this wall, jump up to this wall, and then we're going to jump over to this one. And here you're just going to jump back and forth. Just jump back and forth a couple times. And once you get up, we can use Force Lift and Force Slam to get our next collectible. Now, after you grab this one, we only have three collectibles left. We're going to run to the end here and we can drop down. Be careful. You may have some enemies that run up on you that you might need to take out. But after doing that, we're going to jump down here and you're going to have to take out these two big fellas. Now, once you take out all of the enemies down here, we can start by coming right over here to the left side. We're going to have a seed pod that we can grab. Now, after you grab that seed pod, continue to work your way along the rocks. We're going to be able to use force lift on these rocks, and that's going to drop you a treasure. And our final collectible is going to be right around the corner where this grapple is. So we're going to grapple up to this ledge and right on the top, you're going to have a treasure right here, and that'll be all your collectibles. But that's how to get all 18 collectibles here in Mountain Ascent. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.